Aloha and welcome to another review by the world of Wipeart. Um, if you're like me and you're into your photography um, and you also own one of these awesome things, an iPad, um, you may be interested in some photo editing apps. Now I've done a fair whack of downloading and even buying some of the apps out there and I've got to say I keep going back to the same one um, and I believe it is the best app um, you can get for your iPad for photo editing and I'm going to open it right now uh, drum roll drum. icon looks like this ignore FIFA Snapseed it's um, owned by Google and it is free which is one of the reasons why I think it's the best app because it's free um, some of the other ones I've got like Photo Toaster there, I mean it is still cheap at like 150 £2.99 That's still cheap when you think of how much Photoshop is The full Photoshop I'm talking about, it costs hundreds of pounds um, And some of the stuff, honestly, it is awesome um, I'm actually starting to use my iPad more to edit my photos um, Than I'm using my computer because it's just so much fun just clicking on different filters and it's it's just so easy, so I'm going to show you um, what it looks like and how easy it is to add really cool effects and filters to photos. Okay, so I'll now open Snapseed and just show you exactly how easy it is to do some photo editing. So when you click it open here, you've got your wee uh, introduction screen and the top left is the most important bit because that's where you add your photo or take your photo. You can take a photo from the camera or um, paste or go into your photo library. So I've copied an image and I'll just paste that image in. There it is, it's me and my wife uh, doing a stupid face. So instantly you've got all your different things that you can do here. You've got an automatic correct, which I haven't used, I'm not really interested in that. Um, selective adjustments, you can select certain parts of the image and apply adjustments just to them. Tune the image, straighten the image, crop the image, uh, details like sharpening and the colour. Um, saturation etc. You've got black and white, vintage, drama, grunge, center focus, tilt and shift, retro looks and frames. Now the one that made me want to get this originally was tilt and shift because I don't have the new version of Photoshop so I've not got that uh, as a filter and the fact that you've got it for free so you can apply tilt and shift effects to stuff for free uh, is totally awesome. Um, so I'll go into like vintage and just show you how easy this is. So instantly that's got one of the presets I had used. So you've got uh, nine different ones here to choose from. And each one, although it's applying all the effect to it at the moment, it is customizable. So say I take that one, if I press into the screen, should work, there we go. Um, I can adjust the brightness, saturation, texture strength, the center size, style strength and once I've selected one you just scroll it back and forth and you see there it's going strength 100 to, to 0 so you can either apply the effect or go back so I'm going to go back just to now to show you some different ones drama take for instance you've you've not got a lot to choose from for the presets but you can easily make your own so if you choose one to start with there you go, and then you can change the filter strength so it's not as drastic or make it even more drastic. It begins to look like an HDR, that, from something that's not very focused to super focused and it pops, makes the colour pop. So I'm going to keep that on just at the moment. Apply. So you've now got your photo. The cool thing is, no matter what you apply to your photo, you can always compare. So you can click compare and see what it originally looked like. It's totally awesome. Now instantly that's a quite a bad photo and it's cropped. This was taken on the iPad. So I'll crop it in a wee bit. Easy as that. Apply. So we've got it cropped. And then just to finish it off, add a wee frame. So you've got a big list of different frames here. You can just click through them and pick one that you want. Yeah, we kind of Polaroid looking things different kind of torn paper effects so you can choose whatever frame you want I think I'll choose that one, that's just basic we round corners at the edge, apply and I have created this cool kind of photo from that 
So there you go, only a few minutes and I've already applied filters, a frame and it's ready to uh, share or save onto my iPad. Easy. That is why Snapseed is awesome and it is well worth downloading because it's free and you can sit and mess about with all the different settings, start getting used to using it and you'll be making awesome pictures. Okay, so last of all, I'm just going to paste one more picture in. Um, and it's a picture of Edinburgh Castle. Now, if you've ever been there, you've ever been to Bonnie, Scotland, you'll have seen Edinburgh Castle. So it's already got some sepia effect on it. But just for the sake of just showing you how awesome this is, I've gone to Retrolux, see what we can apply. See, I, I mean, instantly that's just... I just find that amazing. That just looks cool. It looks like the photo. I've had the photo for about 50 years. That applies all these kind of old fashioned effects onto your photo. It's just so, so awesome. I like that one. I mean, look at that. Seriously. If I just apply that effect and then compare. That was the original, looks quite, looks, still looks good, it's a good image, it's a wee bit flat, bang, that just brings it to life, I mean that is awesome, seriously this is free, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually like gobsmacked that my iPad has the power to do this, when something like this would take me a good half an hour to an hour, at least to uh, messing about in Photoshop and I'm doing it in a matter of seconds, awesome app, Definitely download it if you're into photography. I'm importing my images straight from Dropbox, so I'm saving them on my computer from a DSLR, putting them in Dropbox, importing them into my iPad, editing them, saving them back in Dropbox, sharing them online or whatever I want to do with them. The sheer power of this thing is so exciting. Um, I'll probably share more videos and more stuff that I find and yada yada yada. So I hope you found this useful and we'll be back soon with more reviews and all that jazz. Cheers!